How's it going guys? I hope you're doing great and welcome to my first video of 2019. Now yes, I know I should have been uploading yesterday, which would have been a Foot Champions video. Well, a reward video that is anyway, but yeah. But your boy over here decided it'd be a great idea to record a Foot Champs pack opening. I had everything lined up for you. I had my rewards, I had a second lot of rewards. And yeah, your boy decided to, uh, to record without the mic. Just take the mute off the mic. Don't know what it is. No excuse for it, so, yeah, I'm sorry. But without further ado, it is Team of the Year prediction day. We're a couple of days away from Team of the Year right now. I'm super excited for it. I want to have a really decent team this year, and not going to lie, I'm actually going to try and get as many of them as I can. So I hope you guys had a good Christmas and New Year and all that good stuff, but this is where the grind, we're back on it, boys. We're back on making videos and that sort of stuff, and this is where we're starting. So we're on the FootWiz website if you are interested in knowing that. So I'm going to pick my Team of the Year with you guys today, so let me know down in the comment section what Team of the Year that you'd like to see, and whether you agree with some of the picks that I choose, and, and of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and leave a like if you do enjoy, but without further ado, Let's get this thing started, shall we? So, we start off with the goalkeeper position. We have Alisson, Lloris, Oblak, Courtois, and David De Gea. Realistically, I'm a Man United fan. There's only one choice for me here, and it's David De Gea. Courtois had a good year at Chelsea. Oh, did he have a good year at Chelsea? I don't even know. I'm probably just waffling. He probably did, all right? I mean, he's had his move to Real Madrid. They've been pretty awful since then, so Courtois just getting the bin, to be honest. Oh, black, eh, definitely not my choice. Allison, dead, not choosing that either. But So realistically, it's going to be out of De Gea and Lloris. Lloris, World Cup winner. De Gea, again, probably going to be the most voted best goalkeeper because not a lot of people like Spurs, not going to lie. The, the hate for Spurs is quite real. And Lloris isn't exactly a fantastic goalkeeper on the game. So my choice is probably going to go with De Gea because Man United fan, I'm going to choose him. And I think he's the best goalkeeper in the world. And he was sick again last year in us finishing second in the table with the team that we, well, the, with the way the Mourinho play. So, exactly, it, it, that's pretty good. So, we're going to go ahead and continue. And now I'm going to choose four defenders for the back four. Oh, my God. There is uh, too many choices this time. So, one choice, 100% that's going in there is Rafa Varane. How this man gets overlooked as the best centre-back in the world right at the moment, or one of the best centre-backs in the world at the moment, is just absolutely silly, to be honest. And that is definitely someone who I'd love to see in the Premier League, preferably in a Man United shirt, if I'm going to be honest with you lot. But who knows? These things don't tend to happen that often, do they? But if you're looking at Man last year, good. Van Dijk, I, I mean, to be honest, I think what mine is probably going to be, my back four is probably going to be that there. Jordi Alba, yeah, good. But realistically, Hernandez, no. Carver how, how this man is even a pick, I really don't know. Kyle Walker was brilliant for City last year. So, again, I think he has... He's definitely got a chance up there, isn't he? But if I'm choosing it from a FIFA perspective, Walker would be freaking amazing, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I don't see any of the back four other than Van Dijk, Varane, Marcelo and Ramos. Because, again, Ramos... Won the Champions League last year with Madrid. I don't think Madrid, no. Barca won the league, didn't they? So, again, yeah. But if you're talking about sort of the best players, Marcelo has to be in there as well. Best fullback in the world currently. Just my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments. Don't just go, oh, I hate curbs. Why is he saying this? But th this, is, this is all just opinion-based at the end of the day, isn't it? So, Marcelo, 100% is going to be in there again. Arguably, Umtiti might be in there because, again... Won the league with Barcelona, won the World Cup with... Um, he's obviously won the World Cup with France as well. So, at the end of the day, you're, you're looking at it as if... It's a tough one because, I, you, you see, we, we only get a small percentage of what we actually want to see in the votes and things like that. So, realistically, we have a little bit of a say in there. But then EA and the actual vote itself is probably going to be a lot more than what we get. So, you may even see Umtiti in there instead of maybe Van Dijk. Because Van Dijk was... Yeah, he's been great for Liverpool, let's be honest with each other. He was great for them in the last year, but... They got to the Champions League final. They didn't win the trophy. They didn't win the Premier League. So they're probably looking at that as well. So Titi has had a better year realistically with Barcelona by winning the World Cup and the league. So realistically, it's going to be between those two. But us FIFA players are real. Excuse me. Us FIFA players are realistically going to want to have the better players in the game. So this, so I'm, I'm guessing that people are picking not just based on real life performances, but how they play in FIFA as well. Like if you're going to put these pair. In as, as team of the year centre backs next to each other. Oh my god! If you have the coins, I with the AI defending in this game, you're literally not going to concede whatsoever with these two at the back, or even Ramos for that matter. To be honest, 
So yeah, that's going to be my back four. I'm going to choose Van Dijk, Varane, Marcelo, Ramos. Yet again, let me know down in the comment section what you guys have picked and whether you agree with my picks or not. But realistically, this is what I think it will be and I, what I kind of want it to be as well. The only change really that I, I might would like to see is taking out Van Dijk and putting in like Kyle Walker. or I'm, I wouldn't really use him, Titi, not going to lie. Although, his team of the year would have like 98 defending, 92 physical and 80 two pace or something silly like that but yeah that's my back four okay so now i'm going to choose three midfielders so we're going to go for one absolute obvious choice which is luka modric he's won the ballon d'Or. he's going to be in team of the year he's going to have like a 98 or a 99 rated car because of the winning the ballon d'Or. so he's definitely going to be my first pick that's in there realistically matuidi get in the bin why are you even in there you won the world cup but eh, you, you you haven't even been that good mate Royce, another interesting one. Fernandinho was insane for Man City last year, and he has been this year. I mean, if, 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 as you're watching this video today, if you watch the Liverpool-Man City game from last night, oh my God, that was an insane performance from Fernandinho in that game. So, I think he has a shout, but realistically, in FIFA terms, he's probably not going to get him. Perisic, yeah, he had a really, really good year. Getting that equaliser against us in the uh, in the World Cup, which was not that fantastic. And Rakitic as well, he's had a really, really good year. Winning the league. Got to the semi-final of the World Cup as well. Did pretty well in the Champions League. So yeah, Rakitic probably has a shout. But being that Modric is already in there, doubt it. Pogba, one that obviously being a Man United fan, again, reiterate that point. That we're probably, I, I would love to see a Paul Pogba in, uh, in the team of the year, not going to lie. But... I mean, does he deserve an outsider chance? I mean, he, he, if you're looking at the calendar year that he's had, he's won the World Cup and had a quite a big role in winning the World Cup with France. But it's out of him and Kante, realistically, isn't it? And when you look at sort of achievements throughout the year, Kante has probably been the better player. But in terms of FIFA, I 100% would prefer Paul Pogba in that midfield. I'm not going to lie. Busquets, eh. Casemiro, no. David Silva, yes, had a brilliant year with Manchester City, but then had a really poor World Cup as well. I personally wouldn't pick him in there because even with a team of the year card, that pace ain't looking too fresh, not going to lie. Isco, yeah, won the Champions League with Madrid. Not too great, though. But then you got the likes of Kante, Dybala, Cruz, and De Bruyne. Realistically, out of those, I would probably like De Bruyne in there, but I think I prefer Kante, to be honest with you. I think... With France having such a good World Cup and their midfield having such a good one, Kante and Pogba were in, uh, incredible in the World Cup. Yes, you could arguably say De Bruyne had a better year sort of in the calendar year with Man City being so dominant, so you could technically do that realistically, or you could even do this, but I want Pogba in there, not going to lie, and I think Kante does deserve to be in there as well. So De Bruyne, I think, uh, for me, misses out this time, and I think Kante and Pogba will be, uh, I want them to be in there, but realistically, I think it's going to be De Bruyne, Kante, and Modric, but I hope for the sake of the game that Pogba's in there, because I would love a team of the year, Paul Pogba, in there, because my midfield at the moment is currently uh, Hullet, Vieira, and Pogba, well, it would be Pogba's team of the year card, but I've got Socrates' prime at the moment, but... I'd love a team of the year Pogba, not going to lie. And let's move on to the forwards, which again is going to be another controversial section. So, we move on to the forwards. Now, there's of course going to be a lot of controversy in this one, because there's going to be people like fat fans and things like that watching this video, and they'll say, oh, God, I can't believe that Mane did so well. Da, 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 da. But Mane's not getting in there, realistically. Like My front three, genuinely, like with you guys right now, I think, and I probably want it to be that there. Ronaldo, Messi, and Mbappe. If you look at the season all three of them have had, it blows everyone else out the water. Messi, if you see the stats that he's had so far this, this year, it's it, like, in 2018, one of his best seasons ever. Like, he's, he's got the most goals, assists, like, goals from free kicks and all that sort of stuff. How you can put Messi out there, yes, they didn't have a good World Cup, but that, I don't think that even matters, because if you look at the statistics and things like that, you've got Messi and Ronaldo obviously neck and neck up there again, but... How are you going to have not have Messi and Ronaldo up there again? It's just, it just blows my mind. People are probably put down in the comment section, oh yeah, but Salah helped Liverpool get to the Champions League final. But again, when you look at this man here, Kylian Mbappe, like realistically, he's had a better year, isn't he? They Yes, they didn't do quite as well with, with PSG in the Champions League, but... He's won the World Cup with France, and he was absolutely incredible during that period as well. So, therefore, I don't think Salah's going to get in there. But then but then when you look at it even more, you've got the likes of Eden Hazard, who's had a very, very good year again. You've got Neymar, who's had an excellent year as well. Realistically, my front three, I think, is going to be Mbappe, Messi, 
and Ronaldo. More than likely, I think you guys are probably going to pick these three as well. The only change that I would maybe make just out of the blue because people are picking because FIFA terms... You might take out Mbappe for Neymar, but I think that's a very much a long shot, to be honest with you. But my decision, I'm going to choose Mbappe, Messi, and Ronaldo. So, let's have a look what our team of the year looks like. I believe that's what it does. Okay, so there you go. So, of course, I'm on the FootWiz website. If you want to go have a look at that, it's literally just go on team of the year FootWiz vote, and it's there. So, I selected my final 11. It's David De Gea, Sergio Ramos, Varane, Van Dijk, Marcelo, Modric, Kante, and Pogba with Mbappe, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Lionel Messi leaving that up there. So yeah then guys, there you go. So that is my team of the year prediction. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section on what yours is and whether you agree with some of the picks that I've got. Probably one of the most controversial ones is probably going to be probably Pogba, Van Dijk, maybe something like that. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hopefully on team of the year comes on Monday. Who knows what we're going to get, but hopefully it's going to be a banger. So until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.